the amount of work contained in a given job is referred to as work content. For a given job work content is measured in terms of man hours or machine hours. Work content has two constituents. Number one is, basic work content, which is the minimum time theoretically required to do an operation or job. This cannot be reduced. Basic work content will result in the following conditions where, the design and the specification are perfect, process of manufacture is exactly followed, no loss of working time due to any of the reasons. Thus, the basic work content represents an ideal condition which is not possible to achieve. Another constituent of work content is, excess work content, the actual time required to complete an operation or job is more than the basic time in practical situations. This additional portion of the work content is called excess work content. So, what are the reasons for excess work content? In a manufacturing company, the excess work content gets added because of the following reasons. Work content added due to defects in the design or specification of a product. Typical causes under this classification are, bad design of the product, lack of standardization of components, incorrect specifications and quality standards, and, faulty design of components. Work content added due to inefficient methods of manufacture. Typical causes under this classification are, improper selection of a manufacturing process or machine, wrong selection of tools, lack of process standardization, improper layout of the shop or factory, inefficient methods of material handling, ineffective time added due to shortcomings of the management. Typical causes under this classification are, bad working conditions, frequent production interruptions due to breakdowns, poor production planning and control. Lack of safety measures, lack of quality mindedness, improper communication, or lack of instructions, frequent changes in setups, or smaller lot size, lack of performance standards, and shortage of materials, tools. Ineffective time added due to reasons attributed to workmen. Typical causes under this classification are unauthorized absence from work, substandard performance, carelessness in working, and unnecessary wastage of time, or idleness. This figure shows how manufacturing time is made up of. Up till this point, we have the total work content, and the rest of it is total ineffective time, they together constitute the total time of operation. There are several techniques to reduce work content, some of which include. Number 1, Management Techniques to Reduce Work Content Due to Product, Including Product Development standardization, or variety reduction, value analysis, and, market research or consumer research. Number 2, management techniques to reduce work content due to process or methods, including process planning, and, method study. Number 3, management techniques to reduce ineffective time due to management, including product standardization and simplification, product specialization, standardization of component. Production planning and control, materials control, plant maintenance, and, safety measures and improved working condition. And, number 4, management techniques to reduce the ineffective time within control of the workers, including sound personnel policies, operators training, safety training, and, financial incentives. Thus, work study can be used as a tool to improve productivity. The important functions of production management are setting up the most effective method of performing the operation, or standard method, and control or effective utilization of resources. Work study which comprises of method study and work measurement will fulfill these two requirements. Method study aims at determining the most effective method of performing the job, the most logical layout for manufacturing facilities, uninterrupted flow of materials throughout the organization which will help to complete the job in the least possible time and at optimum cost. Work measurement on the other hand determines the time required by an operator to complete the operation or job for the standard method at the defined level of performance. Work study is the most effective tool to enhance productivity because of the fact that, it is a straightforward way of increasing the productive efficiency of the organization, and, it considers all the factors influencing productivity.